So we just checked in. This is both of us our first bike race ever, and we're both nervous. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. We've got our our plates and now we're gonna go get oh, I'm gonna get kitted up and grab our bikes. So as part of our NICA journey, my son and I signed up for a few races prior to the NICA mountain bike race season. And this is our first one. It was at Soldier Hollow, just outside of Midway, Utah. And we were nervous, nervous, nervous. And it was a good experience though, to see what was needed to be part of this race. There was also a couple other of the coaches that, that rode in the races and a few of the other youth on our team. Uh, the two guys in the middle there talking are um, two of the coaches on our, our NICA team. They were riding in the novice category while I'm riding in sport men's for my age group. So we're getting ready for this race and I just wanted to explain a little of why we're doing this. So it's a race, my son, and yes, that, that is his name, R-A-C-E. So race is, this is his first race because with NICA, he hasn't raced any, they don't know where to rank him. So they've put him in JVE. So this gives us a chance to get some race experience for him. And two, it also gives us a chance to have some data that we can then petition to have him placed in a different category as opposed to JVE, something closer to where he would race. So this is something if you're new to racing and you, your kids didn't start in like the junior Devo, junior high, and they want to get ranking, they need to go out and ride some other races so that they can have some data to petition where, where to be ranked. Otherwise, they'll, they'll have to use the first couple races of the season to help um, place them in the correct category, and then you have to petition mid-season to do that. So that's what we're doing today. We're enjoying, it's starting to warm up a little bit. It's been cool here, and we're both a bit nervous about this. Yep. Um, the first wave is already gone and we are both racing in the second wave. J JV is racing at the front and I'm a few groups back behind in the men's 35 to 49. Super fun. For this race, we'll both be riding our Team Marin 2s. Um, essentially stock currently, although we are picking up some new wheels right after the race from Forge and Bond. Super cool. You should be in the first group. They'll probably call it again. So in this race, they had three different waves, about two hours apart each. And my son and I were both in wave two. Um, and then they had different start times for different groups. Uh, races group started first. Uh, because there was so many junior varsity boys, they actually split that group into two. And uh, that's group one getting started just there. And group two is going to be a, a minute or so later. Um, my group started 10 minutes approximately after my son's. And then the third wave was most of the faster riders, including the varsity boys and the expert men. So the course for this race is 
um, just under eight miles with a lot of climbing at the beginning and then a lot of switchbacks and turns coming back down for the second half of the course. Um, with both my sons and my categories, we rode the, the course twice. Um, the expert men and the varsity boys rode it three times. Um, so it, it was not a short cross country race. It was a good first one though for both of us. Um, a lot learned. My son was really nervous about passing on the course and this was a good opportunity for him to see just what it's like on a race course to, to pass other riders and to be passed. On your right. Thanks. Good luck. So this first couple miles, about two and a half in, have been pretty predominantly climbing. And I could have warmed up more. You can see the backside of Mount Timpanogos right there, looking pretty. Because the course was mostly uphill for the first part of the lap and downhill for the second, it made it really easy to just have the fork locked at the beginning and unlock it for the, the long descent uh, for the second half of the loop. Number one, I just, just around 50 minutes. As I do some climbing, might as well do some ch chatting. Oh. It was a good, good long course. <sighs> Around eight miles. Whew. Lots of the faster 50 plus guys passed me and several of, I think, the varsity girls. Rocking it. Next up, we have our extra men, 349. You will be leaving at 1047. It's recording the finish. But yeah, finished 147 for the 16 miles. Now I need to find race. Woo! Oh, <laughs> that's the camera. I got, I passed when the timer hit 10, 20, 53. Okay. So I did it in an hour and 30 minutes. Ish, minutes. yeah, somewhere in there. I could cool. have done it a lot faster. I had a couple of crashes. There was a lot. Oh yeah, you look like you got. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I'm all dirty. Oh, Was it on some of the switchbacks? Yeah. Some of those switchbacks were pretty blown out. Yeah. That's not. Oh, it's funny. Near the beginning of the track, there's like there's like a specific spot 
where like there just wasn't enough of a berm and I just kind of went off the trail. And You're near the end here? No, near the beginning. Oh. Near the beginning. Oh. So I, I did that on both laps. And the first lap, I so I was like halfway through the lap, I noticed my red bottle's gone. And I then I cra I did the same thing in the same spot and that's where my red bottle was. It like it was like You know, on my first on my first bush. lap I saw I saw I saw, a, I saw a bottle and I'm like, that looks like racist bottle. <laughs> yeah. Well I <laughs> I crashed in the same spot. I'm like, that's my water bottle. Like, ah. <laughs> that's actually, that's actually pretty funny. Yeah. I could have done way better though. Like, I, I don't know. I just had horrible back pain. I wasn't pushing it at all the last part just because the, the, my back pain was so bad. Like I, it was, it was on the uphills. Yeah. Like it, it like strains my back when I push. So. Um, second lap on this area up here. Yeah. I there's just a burn every night. I don't know. <laughs> it means you're riding at the those, edge of control. One of those shaded like grassy areas and yeah, yeah. It just blew out. And then one one another guy crashed because I did. I felt bad about that. So. It was a lot chiller than I thought it would be. Yeah. So good. It actually felt nice. It's just like just like hey, can I pass? I'm like yeah yeah sure. And then they're like thanks man. And then it's just like all this sportsmanship. Nice, I guess. This was really a great experience for both my son and I. And as a dad, it was awesome to see how excited my son was to share how he felt about the race and how excited he was about everything that happened, even though he felt like he could have done a lot better. It was a great experience for both of us. Also, this is my Strava map of the course. If you're interested in following me on Strava, check me out under Rob Freeze there, and I'll be sharing both my trainings and races and other adventures there, and it's another great place for you and I to connect. Also, I want to thank Marin for the Team Marin 2s and making this possible. The Team Marin 2 bikes are really perfect Nike racing bikes. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Look for opportunities to give those old things new life. In this case, that's me. And I'll see you on the next video. Ciao.